सो नाउ आई विल टीच यू अबाउट प्रोसेस कंट्रोल ब्लॉक प्रोसेस कंट्रोल ब्लॉक इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एस पी सी बी ओके सो वॉट इज प्रोसेस कंट्रोल ब्लॉक इन आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू डेट इन रैम सेवरल प्रोसेस रिसाइड एट अ टाइम जस्ट टू रन सो इन ऑर्डर टू आइडेंटिफाई ऑल दिस प्रोसेसेस ईच प्रोसेस हैव देयर ओन प्रोसेस कंट्रोल ब्लॉक लिसन केयरफुली ईच प्रोसेस हैव देयर ओन प्रोसेस कंट्रोल ब्लॉक ओके it means what for example if four processes are there then each of these four processes have four control box and what does process control box contains it is a data structure which contains all the attributes of a process all the properties of a process through which you can easily identify about that process okay so uh, let me explain you about these attributes so these are basically the attributes of processes attributes okay these are these all are process id program counter process state priority general purpose register list of open open files list of open devices protection okay these are the attributes of process control block so the first one is process id what is process id each process has its own id number through which you can identify that process for example each of us have social uh, social security number which is also known as aadhar number through which you can be easily identified as a citizen of india also each process have their own process id second one is program counter so program counter uh, actually it is more related to computer organization i will i will tell you what is program counter in the computer organi organization oh, okay let me um, okay here i will tell you the i, I will give you the uh, brief introduction okay so what is program counter program counter uh, i will explain you, you with the help of an example suppose in a ram okay in a ram process p1 is running in a ram it means what process running means what process cpu has process p1 okay and uh, suddenly an interruption happened interruption uh, may be some hardware cause some error something happened so uh, okay let's give you a better example okay at first let me tell you what is program what is program counter program counter it contains the address of the next instruction it contains the address of the next instruction it is a register so why it is important in pcb i tell you why i already told you in a main memory several process reside at time suppose it's a main memory or you can say it as a ram okay and uh, process p1 is there process p1 has uh, suppose three instructions process p1 has three instruction instruction 1 instruction 2 instruction 3 it means what if these three instructions are run properly then process p1 is completed okay. so process p1 has three instruction and uh, suppose the address of instruction 1 is suppose 200 address of instruction 2 is 202 and address of instruction 3 is 204 actually in the in the uh, in in a ram all the instructions that are uh, that are there in the ram each instructions have the address okay so uh, when process p1 is executing instruction suppose p1 has already uh, executed instruction i1 and now p1 is executing instruction i2 and suddenly an interrupt happened interrupt happened maybe because of uh, some uh, 
maybe uh, your computer has become very hot okay the, the temperature ha uh, has gone up so what will happen here p1 will stop and p1 will go and check what happened actually these things will be more clear in interrupt io okay when i will teach you computer organization here just uh, i am giving you a basic uh, so that uh, you, you will be so that you will understand what i am teaching you so here uh, what happened p1 went to see who caused this interrupt and after uh, after getting the information after processing this interrupt okay c1 will come back uh, p1 will come back but now how p1 will know from where to start p1 at uh, before going to process the interrupt p1 was at 202 address number 202 but now after processing the interrupt when p1 will come p1 has forgot where i was so what will so how this problem will be solved there will be one program counter register pc pc means program counter it contains the address of the next instruction the address of the next instruction is 204 so it's 204 so p1 will come and then check the program counter so after checking the program counter p1 will come to know that oh i have to start from 204 so then p1 will execute its instruction number 3 from this address from 204 so this is the so that's why program counter is important okay and the uh, third one is process state process state means what uh, i will tell you in the process state diagram uh, process state there are several process states like new state ready state running state when the process is running you can uh, tell it as the pro the state of the process is running when the process is in the hard disk okay then you, you will say it is a new state okay but don't worry i will i will teach you after the, after this process control block okay the fourth one is priority what is priority priority means what each uh, a priority number is associated to each process so that you can easily identify which process has the highest priority and which process has the lowest priority highest priority means what that process has to be finished earlier than the process who has the lowest priority how it happens it is a queue okay several processes are there p1 p2 p3 okay suppose the priority number of p1 is suppose 1 and the priority number of p2 is suppose 3 so here i have assumed that lower the priority number higher the priority is okay no sorry the priority of p1 is 3 and the priority of p2 is 1 here i have assumed lower the priority number higher the priority is suppose p1 is running p1 is running cpu is with p1 cpu is with p1 so suddenly p2 comes and p2 has higher priority than p1 then what will happen cpu cpu will be snatched from p1 and will be given to p2 okay so uh, that's why priority is important in process control block with the help of priority you will be uh, uh, you will understand that oh how important is this process third one is general purpose register general purpose register means what uh, when the process runs it uses several uh, registers like program counter is also a register okay there are lots of registers that the uh, cpu uses so these are called general purpose registers fourth one is list of open files list of open files and list of open devices so what is list of open files list on uh, list of open devices it means what while running a process suppose p1 needs to access a file or a device like uh, like hardware device then those information means which files 
are uh, which files we are accessed by p1 which devices we are opened by p1 this information will be present here okay and the last one is protection protection means what uh, each process has to be protected from another process means what i told you that Several processes are there in the RAM like P1, P2, P3 and each process has been allocated some memory space. So it's a task of operating system to see that no process should try, should try to access the region which is allocated to other process. Suppose P1 should not try to enter into the region which into, into the region this one which is allocated to P1. So P2 should not try to access the region which is allocated to P1 or P1 should not try to access the region which are allocated to P2 or P3. Okay, so protection is related to these things. Protection is a big topic, um, but uh, okay, uh, after finishing this process diagram, maybe, uh, maybe just before memory management unit, I will teach you about protection separately. Okay, so uh, these are all the attributes of program control block. From these attributes, you can easily identify which process it is. Okay, so after this, now I will come to process state diagram.